Right then, this is a quick walk around video and for an extraordinary car actually. Uh, I don't normally do my videos here, so it's a bit noisier, as you better found out. Um, but they're doing some work where we are. It's a bit dusty, so I'm coming around here. Um, this is a Lexus RX 400 hybrid. Uh, it's the limited edition model, so it's quite a rare beast in its own right. But what makes this one exceptional is it's covered just 21,000 miles from you. Uh, it is extraordinary. Uh, finished in black, as you can see, with a full black leather interior, so pretty much ticks every box going. Uh, from memory, I think it's been serviced eight times by the Honda main, uh, Lexus main dealers, and we've just serviced the car as well. And it'll be going off an independent MOT, hopefully very shortly as well. Um, lights and lenses, you can see on the front there, clear, intact, without any cracks or condensation. Front bumper looks generally very, very good. Bonnet exceptionally clean with the odd minor and very light stone chip and to come down the near side first passenger side and very clean in the panel work no in obvious indentations i can see near side front alloy absolutely superb and continue down it's very nice i mean there are the odd light or will be the odd light mark um even with 21,000 miles it's still um 13 years old but it really is exceptionally it's just a lovely car is it the rarities in there it's obviously the mechanical state of the car but it's, it's in very very nice condition as well back of the car again generally good with the odd light mark again which i have to sort of pick up on off side of the vehicle very very smooth in the panels off side obviously gets a lighter life than the near side which is where brush marks are that kind of thing uh, but generally very very good it is a bit of a one-off it's so coming into boots area big boots on the cars load line has been used and underneath the carpeted area looks absolutely like new it's incredibly clean it's so coming to the back of the car now again just continues the theme it's a bit of a time warp of course Leather works absolutely beautiful on the car. From the front, near side, the passenger side, again, lovely and clean. And passenger seat, clearly been given limited use. Coming in on the driver's side, again, very, very clean and tidy. The driver's seat, again, shows at virtually no wear at all. So inside the car now, engine's running as always, so the dash can be seen illuminated. Dashboard, as you'd expect, is in beautiful condition. Sat now, as you can see, working absolutely perfectly. Pop the car into reverse. You get that lovely clear gridded parking camera, all working exactly as intended. Wonderful Mark Levinson stereo. It is quite lovely up to the main dash binnacle and there you get to see 21,141 miles no warning lights of course on the car finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and wheel lock key sets all here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video for a Lexus RX 400 hybrid version obviously um, LR09BOJ with just 21,133 miles. I mean, quite extraordinary car. Um, the reason we do all of our videos, and actually especially this road test section, is to ensure that if anyone's online looking at any of our cars, they get to see the advertised car actually in operation. Um, like so many people, we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs and descriptions but only to get them find out that they've got a fundamental issue that shows up whilst driving the car so hence that's why we do it they're also done on these quiet roads in this beautiful part of Gloucestershire and this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on so hopefully then we representative of what you feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car so coming to the car uh, with such a low mileage, you're going to expect it to be good, and quite rightly so, and it doesn't disappoint in any way. It is a wonderful, wonderful car. Um, you know, 
know, these were miles, miles ahead of their time and still set the standard for how hybrid systems work in cars, in my personal opinion. And I'm talking about the transitions between how the engine operates, when it's cutting in, how it's, when the hybrid system works. Um, it, it basically made cars of its age, uh, particularly you know, its direct competitors, feel incredibly sort of clunky um, and crude, in all honesty, by comparison. Um, because the way this Lexus V6 operates, um, you know, it really is extraordinary. Um, it's such a smooth engine, it's such a lovely sounding engine, um, but with the hybrid system piggybacking on the back of it, because it's basically what they refer to as a self-charging hybrid. So basically, you don't do anything apart from drive the car absolutely normally. You run low on fuel, you put fuel in, stand at the tank for uh, the pump for a few minutes, and then you're on your way again, and that's it. When you hit the brakes, when you're back off the throttle, that's when it's regenerating energy into the battery. So no, no fears at all in that sense. Um, but it's just the way it all works together. Um, on the open road, it's, and I use the word very carefully, it is pretty much seamless in the whole way the car propels you forward. Normally with a, a conventional car, you've got a normal engine, um, normal automatic gearbox, and that's it, you know, and they're pretty good. Um, but they can be a bit indecisive at low speeds, a bit clunky in the gear changes, a bit loud. Um, this obviously, I'm kind of in silent mode and battery only, come to a stop, go to pull away, and it is just so, so smooth and serene. No jolting, because there's no gear changes, constantly variable transmission. So it's, you know, you put your foot down hard, picks up the revs, and it kind of catches up with the revs. It is just brilliant um, and it all works absolutely as Lexus intended you know with such a low mileage I'm gonna keep harping on about it obviously um, but you know it's it's you'd expect it rightly to feel tight and it does there are no warning lights on the dashboard um, relating to the engine or any other part of the car actually um, temperature gauge running at just over a third between a third and a half which is exactly where it's meant to be on one of them as well so all good in that sense um, the gearbox, as I said, it's CVT, so basically there are no gear changes, and it's just so smooth. There's no clunks, there's no thuds, there's nothing at all. The drivetrain is absolutely spot on. Um, coming to the steering of the car, good old-fashioned power steering on the car. You know, these are not sports cars, not in any way, shape, or form are they sports cars. What they are are incredibly comfortable ways of getting you from A to B. You know and there's very very few cars that do it as nicely as this and make you feel actually quite special as this as well the steering is it's accurate it's you know it as i said it's it's one of those funny things i love cars this generation because you know it's kind of sort of um sort of analog steering in a sort of very much digital way of manufacturing cars these days um but it, it does exactly what you want it's not so, if it was too quick it would make the car unwieldy and sort of lurchy um, so they've set it up you know keeping in mind how most people will drive the car um, and as I said that's not going to be a sporty manner generally speaking the suspension of course is incredibly smooth and compliant this section of the road is particularly unpleasant by the way it's like the surface of the moon and yet it rides it so much better than uh, most modern cars because uh, they've got unfashionably high profile tyres which really helps they give you a lot more compliance to get over these bumps uh, but the ride quality is superb um, as I said when you go through corners you know you're in a big car it's not a car to be hustled it's a car to be enjoyed and enjoy the um, you know the countryside around you you know but it deals with them it deals with them well um, but as I said you know if people expecting it to turn in like a sports car they're gonna be bitterly disappointed because it'll you know you'll have a bit of roll angle um, but it said I'm, I imagine the vast majority, in fact I know the vast majority of uh, people because we've sold loads of these over the years, tend to get in them and just want to waft along and it, it suits that perfectly. The, just coming to the brakes on the car, I'm going to give them a bit of a shove, make sure they're not directly behind, get to the legal limit, put the brakes on, it's really good brake pedal on the car, nice bite in it, no pulsing or vibrations because that's what I'm really looking for, any kind of rumbling through the brake pedal. 
and there's absolutely nothing at all. Finally coming inside, um, very much car which generation and in my opinion, uh, for what it's worth, all the better for it. Um, it's obviously very, very well equipped. Um, beautifully, beautifully put together as Lexus always do. Um, all its functions working exactly as they should. Um, but what's lovely about it is you've got this, you know, highly equipped dashboard, but one which you can get into and use very easily indeed. And it's got some rather quaint touches as well, which I love. Um, obviously sat nav, all working perfectly. Dual zone climate control system, pumping out ice cold air, heated seats working perfectly. But you've got a dash that is, you can just put your hand on it, you press things, it's easy, you're straight in. You know, modern infotainment systems, dreaded things, could learn a lesson from these. You've just got little buttons out here to tell you what that screen's gonna show you. Um, it's minimalist by modern standards, but fantastic in reality, driving the car, because you're not distracted as you're driving the vehicle. Um, it's so had the finishing side's lovely. You've got the wood finish in this one as well with the steering wheel down here. Um, looks superb. Mark Levinson stereo is astonishing, even by today's standards. It's absolutely brilliant. It's not fighting lots of other noise, of course, which helps. Um, but if you love your music, what a fantastic system it is. Then in front of me here, you've got the conventional binnacle. The only difference being that instead of a rev counter, you get what's called a power meter on the left hand side. That's sort of tells you what the battery is pushing into the car. You've got another screen on there, which I really rather like, which does a similar sort of thing. Um, then you've got this wood steering wheel, or part wood steering wheel, which feels absolutely um, lovely to hold, I must admit, because again, by modern standards, it's got quite thin rimmed, but I really like that. You get much more feel for the road. Um, sort of it's more dainty feel to the way you drive the car. It's lovely. Um, and it's just in just stunning condition in here. Absolutely stunning. It's a real one-off, this car. Um, you know, it is not intended to be cheap, because it isn't cheap, um, but nor is it expensive actually for what it is and for the amount of mileage that should be left in the car with you know, such a low mileage, it's, it's, it's said it's incredibly rare. Um, as always though, if you've got any questions, because I can find nothing wrong with the car at all, driving it, don't hesitate, do give us a call.